This week on the Wildcat Report, an inside look at the construction in the IT Hall, the alpaca farm here in Nebraska, Morgan Cahill and her passion for photography, healthy places to eat out here in Omaha. Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Emily Seaton. And I'm Corey Hadfield, and this is the Wildcat Report. This week, Megan and Tess got an inside look at the construction in the IT Hall. There's going to be new classrooms, new workspaces, and new restrooms. We go to them with a story. This July, Millard West is expanding its learning. The Industrial Technology Wing is now twice the size. Um, I'm doing an independent study of the class I'm doing right now, and so I feel like next year it will be good for the class because we will have the add-on, which will help us. Due to the limited number of spots in these classes and large number of students wanting to enroll, there was no doubt this extension was needed. Um, I think it would be beneficial because it will offer more classes, um, especially with you know them limiting the teachers that teach classes like welding, which is probably one of my favorite classes here. And I think that will open up more opportunities and bigger classes for the uh, children. There will be a brand new metalworks classroom, along with another classroom yeah. Yeah, and bathrooms for both Thanks. faculty and students. That definitely uh, gives more space to the uh, projects that need more space, obviously. But uh, like definitely what we're doing right now, uh, we need more space, and that's definitely a problem that we're running into. Construction began in the beginning of the school year and is scheduled to finish wow. in July. I think it's exciting that we're growing and we're going to have the space that we actually need in some departments so that we can get our stuff and get more students in and be able to build better projects. This new addition will bring endless amounts of opportunities for all students. This has been Tess and Megan with the Wildcat Report. Craig and Will found some unique animals that you would not expect to live in Nebraska. They take us on a trip to a farm which raises alpacas. The humble alpaca, or Vicugna pacos, is fluffy, hooved, and loves carrots. They can also be found closer than you think. Craig and I, after doing our research on these majestic creatures, went to Alpacas of the Heartland Farm in Fort Calhoun, Nebraska, to be among the alpacas and find out their mysterious ways. Sherry Jacoby and her best friend run the farm, giving tours and shearing alpacas. We chose alpacas because, first of all, we just fell in love with the, uh, the super cute animal. And then once we researched it and found out that you could have a, such a lovely animal that has the end product of fleece. Jacoby tells us what daily life at the farm is like. Uh, ch check their water, uh, pick up their poop for the day, um, feed them, and give them fresh hay. Jacoby told us that the main difference between alpacas and llamas is their size. A llama is twice the size of an alpaca. So alpacas, they basically don't get, you know, super big. The average size of an alpaca is about 150 pounds. So that's the biggest difference. Uh, llamas are around 300 pounds. We were told what the fleece was used for. Some of the items that we have in our gift shop do actually come from fleece from our alpacas. Um, we have a lot of yarn that I have uh, the fleece sent off to a mill and made into yarn products. We're not the only students who've been to the alpaca farm. Well, they're really cheap and you can make a lot of money off of their wool, so it kind of like, it's very beneficial. So, if you're looking to meet some new furry friends, alpaca your bags and head down to the Alpacas of the Heartland in Fort Calhoun, Nebraska. This has been Will and Craig, frolicking with the alpacas with the Wildcat Report. Mm. Photography is becoming a trendy hobby in Omaha. Morgan K. Hill, a student at Millard West, has invested much of her time into her work. We go to Megan and Emily with the story. With one year of experience, junior Morgan Cahill found her passion, photography. With a camera in hand, she captures the world through her own lens. Honestly, as cheesy as it sounds, I like, 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 I get to capture the moment that, like, could be gone, like, the next second, but, like, I get to keep it. With Morgan finding this hobby, it has helped others fulfill their dreams along with hers. I know that she's really passionate about it and she loves it a lot, so I just like being able to like help her with her dream and then like it's like an even exchange because I love modeling and she loves taking pictures. 
With each shot, something new is discovered and a new story is told with every click. I try to make them all like story worthy so that I can like look back at them and remember like what exactly happened around my dad. Morgan travels to many locations, always trying to find the most creative place to do her photo shoots. We went to this one abandoned house, and it was just really trashed, and it was kind of crazy, like a whole other world. With her adept passion of photography, Morgan takes photos of all sorts in order to relive the feeling with every snap. Good tasting food can be hard to come by. Jaden and Andrew set out to find some healthy, good tasting food in Omaha. According to North Ohio Heart Organization, 44% of people report eating out at least once a week. This week, Andrew and I set out on a two-day quest to find healthy foods for those people. Our first stop, Muscle Maker Grill. Opened in 1995, this fast casual restaurant utilizes grilled chicken in almost every meal, offering beef and vegetarian substitutes. With many locations around the Omaha area, including the one we went to in Legacy Plaza, this chain has grown popular with young athletes. Because more and more people are trying to eat healthy, and that's a tasty option. Andrew went with Jack's favorite, the sesame chicken teriyaki pasta, giving it a 7 out of 10 star. I chose the Arizona, one of the many rice bowls they offer, which earned an 8 out of 10 stars. For those who are always on the move, Eat Fit Go is the solution. Last year, the chain added a new location near Village Point. Categorized as a specialty grocery store, Eat Fit Go provides pre-made healthy meals for those who do not have time to sit down and eat. The main goal for this establishment is to distribute healthy portion sizes to prevent overeating and food waste. So basically like, what we're trying to do here is prevent food waste. Because like, if we prep everything to smalls or larges here, then people aren't buying food like at the grocery store and making it themselves and then like, having the extra that they throw away. Andrew and I both gave the Get Your Mac on a try and agreed that although it was not at the same level as Muscle Maker, it earned a modest 5 out of 10 stars. The last stop on our journey took us by Lakeside to a fan favorite smoothie place for Miller Quest students, Juice Stop. Juice Stop is strictly smoothies, but that was a perfect way for Andrew and I to end our healthy adventure. Although the interior lacked in decor, the taste of their drinks definitely made up for it. I gave one of their protein shakes, the coach's choice, which earned eight out of 10 stars. Andrew gave the Grand Slam the highest ranking of our quest, nine out of 10 stars. Despite all of our great contenders, Juice Stop came out on top. If you haven't given any of these places a try, we recommend you should, because eating healthy can surprisingly taste good. With that, this has been Jaden Cover and Andrew Pfeiffer eating healthy. That's all we have this week. And remember, there's only one week until spring break, so hang in there. I'm Corey Hadfield. And I'm Emily Seaton, and this has been the Wildcat Report.